Welcome back to Master Glass with me, Livio Laro. Today I am going to taste two different types of aged Patron tequilas. The first one is the Añejo Sherry Cask, and the second one is the Extra Añejo. I'm also going to use both of these to make an old-fashioned cocktail for each, and by that time, I'll be in happy land because just about everything these people do, I love. Let's get into this. Now let me preface that I am a friend of many people that work for Patron and in 2008 they hosted me at their distillery which is called the Hacienda. Um, I was also able on that trip to meet the late and great Francisco Alcarez, who uh, iconic master distiller who actually distilled these two products. Now why don't we just get right into the good stuff here. This here is Patron Añejo, which is a limited edition sherry cask uh, tequila. Uh, this tequila basically ages for over two years in barrels that previously aged sherry. What is sherry? Sherry is a fortified and aromatized wine that can only be made in Andalusia, Spain. And of course, by this product aging inside of a barrel that previously had sherry in it, some of those notes are gonna fall right into this tequila. Let me try. What I have here is a deep gold color and of course a clear liquid on the aroma. Oh, definitely I can get the wine expressions already there. There's a little bit of that just whiny, briny notes that I would get from a sherry. Now sherry typically gives also flavors of like clove and vanilla, and I'm definitely finding both of them in this glass right here. Maybe even just a touch, a touch of grapefruit and a little bit of nuttiness maybe from like a walnut or even a pecan. Now, most people, when they taste, they like to taste the spirit first without water, then with water. I like to dive directly into the water part of it because very seldom do I taste these things neat. I usually either have them mixed with water or soda or ice. So let's go and see what this tastes like. Let me start by saying that this is velvety. This is incredible mouthfeel. My mouth is just trying to figure out what just happened and it's asking for more because the texture of this liquid is fantastic. Really, really top notch. Mm. Yeah, and again, just a lovely flavors exactly the same as what I was tasting, which is cloves, vanilla, pecan. That whiny brininess has kind of been subdued now by more dark notes, maybe a little bit of uh, cocoa, that's a touch of chocolate, but definitely a lot of vanilla in here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that vanilla is now transitioning a little bit into chocolatey notes, a little dark chocolate with that vanilla backbone. And just that nice walnut um, flavors to it that are in there, maybe a little pecan, just very nutty flavors, which are the characteristics of the sherry cask. The, um, the finish is really long. I can still clearly taste these flavors in my mouth after I've swallowed it. And that texture has really coated my palate really, really nicely. Um, this is quite a spectacular tequila. And it's just amazing what finishing a tequila in a barrel, in a special barrel, can do to a product. Awesome stuff.
So this one here is Patron Extra Añejo. Patron Extra Añejo is aged for a minimum of three years, and they actually use three different barrels, American, Hungarian, and French oak. Now, why on earth would they do that? Because they're, of course, working on a flavor profile that will be unique and that will taste like something you've never tasted before. By the way, before I actually sip this, uh, I do want to remind you that if you like what you're watching, please go ahead and give us a like and maybe subscribe. And hey, why not share this show with somebody that you would think would be interested in it. And if you want to drop a comment below, let me know if you prefer Blanco tequilas or aged tequilas and which ones. But with no further ado, I bring to you Patron Extra Añejo. Okay, so the color is deep gold, just like the previous one. By the way, the three different barrels, so an American oak barrel will give you a little bit more sweetness. A French barrel will give you a little bit more fruitiness, maybe a little creme brulee custard flavor. And the Hungarian one will give you a little bit of coffee uh, slash black pepper notes. So of course, I'm gonna look for all of these inside of this glass right here. Ah. Uh. Definitely that nice chocolate coffee notes with those vanilla undertones are there. Oh yeah. That's funny, I'm getting a little bit more nuttiness as well in here. And definitely that pepperiness is there, a little black pepper aroma on here. Maybe a touch of candied orange. And now even some raisins. Really, really nice aromas here. Let's add a little bit of water. Water will just help open it up and give me some more flavors that I have not been able to smell. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely more minerally and drier than the sherry cask version. A lot of chocolate, a lot of vanilla, raisins are still popping, some cloves and some cinnamon. The texture is amazing, not as bold as the sherry cask one is, but definitely still there. And I want to say that the finish on this one is actually a bit longer than what I was getting from the Sherry, which had a great uh, finish. This one here just seems to be a little bit more bold. It's finishing with a long vanilla, chocolate, cinnamon, raisin uh, ending on it. And really a nice little spice as well. Truly, truly nice. Now, these types of tequilas, I know this sounds strange, but it's not about what happens when you drink them as you're swallowing. It's about what happens now that you've swallowed it. What's an amazing flavor that is in your mouth that is a template for upcoming food or anything else you might want to do. What a great tequila this one is, and I could still continue talking about it because there are still really rich flavors in my mouth. Truly, truly amazing. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and um, make a couple of cocktails with it. What I want to do is, because the sherry cask is a limited release, and what that means is you can only find it in some of the major cities in the United States. Um, I'm gonna make an old fashioned with that, but I'm also gonna make it with this one just in case you can't find it in your hometown. You are in really, really, really good hands with the extra Añejo as well. Let's get to the table. So I'm gonna make both of these drinks simultaneously just to make this video a little bit shorter for you all. Uh, the first thing I'm doing here is chilling my beaker by adding ice into them and giving them both a nice stir to get that glass nice and cold and ready for my cocktail. Then I'm gonna strain that water out. And after that is done, I'm gonna take two two inch ice cubes and put them each inside of these cool Riedel glasses. I like these glasses because they fit the two inch ice cube perfectly. The next thing I'm gonna do is uh, in these beakers, I'm gonna add in the first one, three ounces of the Patron Añejo Sherry Cask. 
And then here in the second one, I'm adding three ounces of the Patron Extra Añejo. The next ingredient that I am adding is two dashes of Angostura bitters in each one of the drinks. I want both of these drinks to be made exactly the same. And then last but not least, a bar spoon of agave syrup inside of each one. What is agave syrup? It's basically agave nectar that I have cut with 50% water to make it easier to work with. Next, I'm gonna give both of these a nice long stir to get those ingredients nice and incorporated well together. The next thing, I'm going to strain them each inside of their respective glasses. And once they're in, I'm gonna add a beautiful maraschino cherry from Luxardo in each one. And after that is done, on the sherry cask, I decided to cut previously a nice orange twist here, and I'm squeezing those essential oils from the orange uh, right on top of this beautiful tequila. And then on the extra añejo, I went with a nice little lemon peel, and those lemon peels are really gonna do well with those coffee, caramel, chocolate notes that I was tasting in the tequila earlier. Now it is time to try these babies. All right, sherry with the orange peel. Oh man, man. You know what I like is that by just using a bar spoon of the agave syrup, the tequila is still there. It's not buried, it's not covered. It is really, really a huge part of the cocktail and it did not get covered. Mm. Really nice chocolate, coffee, orange. Really, really, really nice. And let's go with the extra añejo. Same recipe, except I expressed the lemons, the lemon oils. Mm. Brighter, but nice. A lot of vanilla on the backbone, clove, spice with that nice lemon citrus aroma on there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Master Your Glass with me, Livio Lara, where we tried two different expressions of Patron, of aged Patrons, and we made two old fashions with them. And if you did, give us a like, give us a subscribe, share this video, and come on back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio Lara, where you get expert instruction for everyday consumption.